In this video, I will be covering the currency data type in Dataverse. We will be discussing what the currency data type is, why you should use it, and how to apply it to your tables and apps. Currency is one of the more complex data types in Dataverse. It doesn't just store your data, it includes additional columns, tables, and logic. All of this is created for you when you add a currency column. It's especially useful if you're going to be using multiple currencies. Dataverse for Teams also includes the currency function, but it only supports a single currency. This allows you to upgrade to the full version of Dataverse later. People ask, why would I want to use currency when I have decimal? Currency lets you store values with a much larger range than decimal, up to a positive or negative 922 trillion. Also, it lets you configure multiple transaction currencies. Finally, using the transaction currency data, you can submit values using a currency and automatically convert it to the default currency of your environment. A few basics before we go to a demo. When you set up your Dataverse environment, you select a currency. This is the base currency that will be used for all transactions and calculations. When you add a currency column, you will get additional tables and columns added automatically to support the currency logic. Additional columns include lookups to the exchange rate and transaction currency, and a base column that stores the converted transaction value. You'll also have a new table for transaction currency. Here I have a new table named online purchase. Now, I'll add a currency column. Under the advanced options, you can see the minimum and maximum value for these fields are defaulted to the limits of the field, but these can be made smaller. Precision source is where you want the currency field to get its number of decimal places from. There are three options. Precision property sets a specific decimal precision for only this field. It's not recommended because this causes the field to act differently than any other currencies in your environment. Pricing decimal precision is a value set in the Power Platform Administration Center for all decimal precision settings for every pricing related field. For example, if the value was set to two, any out of the box pricing column or column using this setting would have two decimal places. Currency precision. When a currency is added, a currency precision value is set for that specific currency. This is the default and the recommended option, especially when you're using multiple different currencies. For example, one currency may default to two decimal places, others might need three or four. When I click Done, the column will be added to the table. After I save the table, you can see that lookups for exchange rate and transaction currency are added, as well as a base field for the currency column I created. Here's an app that uses the currency fields. I've included the transaction currency lookup to pick the currency, the column to enter the online purchase amount, and the online purchase base field so we can see the calculated value. I'll add a new online purchase, enter an amount, pick a currency, and save. In the saved record, you can see that the base amount is calculated. This occurs after a row is saved and requires no additional work from the maker. If I edit it and change to a different currency and save, you'll see that the base value changes based on the exchange rate for the selected currency. If you want to add a new currency and you don't want to use the admin portal, you can build an app to create one. This does require that you have right access to the transaction currency table. I'll create a tablet app that has a gallery view of the transaction currency table to see all existing currencies. Now I'll change the gallery to remove the image and resize it. Now I'll add a form and point the form to the transaction currency table. I'll set the form to display whatever is selected from the gallery and set it to be read only. Now I'll include a button to add a new currency and set it to change the form to a new form when selected. I'll add a submit button. I'll set it to submit the form and reset the form to blank. Now using this app, I can see my currencies, view any one currency and add a new one. And once the currency is added, if I go to my app, I can see the currency in the app dropdown. And selecting it will process the calculation to base with no additional work. For more information about Dataverse, check out our other videos online.